Welcome back to People Be Like. I'm your host, William Hayes. This is a show breaking down pop culture. Subscribe for four new videos a week. Kylie Jenner wore a do rag. A lot of people can't tell us just by looking at me, but I'm a black person. And what's crazy to me about it is that I used to be embarrassed to wear a do rag in public. I thought that if non colored people saw me doing this, they would think that I was different than them and reject me from their culture. I used to really want to be a part of white culture. I used to even watch Doctor Who. I mean, now when I want to feel a part of my own culture, I just drink malt liquor and never pay child support. But because of Kylie wearing a do rag during New York's Fashion Week, a lot of people aren't too happy with her. Yahoo writing Cultural appropriation is always a terrible idea. But when you're one of the most followed human beings on basically every social media platform, it can could also be a recipe for public disaster. Users on Twitter stating, Just saw Kylie Jenner wear a do-rag on one of her snaps. If white people start wearing those do-rags, I'm gonna be hella pissed. Another stating, I almost lost it when I saw Kylie Jenner in a do-rag. Sis, please, you need to have several seats. Most people, though, don't know where do-rags are from. You know where they're from, right? Negroes. During slavery time in the United States. Remember when that used to be happening? Remember when people like me used to have to be outside all the time? Unless you were a little bit more light-skinned than me, then you can serve lemonade inside. During this time, African-American women slaves wore scarves. These later developed into do-rags in the 1930s and 60s. Whoa! Calabas is as rich as 19-year-old is doing slave shit? You know what this means though, now anybody can do anything. Even if you're like a reality TV show star, you could run for president. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. If you're rich as you can wear slave shit. My POC sister doing it. But do do-rags actually matter to people? Do people feel anything at all when a black person wears a do-rag in public? I decided to go undercover to a local college to see if anyone cares if I wear a do-rag in public. Hey, do you think it's okay if I go to this school and wear a do-rag? Yeah. Do you think it's okay that I'm wearing a do-rag in public? Yeah, why? What's wrong with that? Do you think I'm like a menace to society or anything? Uh, we don't really judge people like that. So. Oh, My culture doesn't offend you, right? No. Cool. It's cool with you? Oh my god, nobody cares! Or they thought I had a gun. In recent years, fashion is becoming more and more of a statement. It's truly an art form that's overlooked because of brains who like to focus and accuse superficiality. You must not be from LA or New York. This is how some people express themselves or make a fool of themselves. So it's also great to see them walking down the street. It's a risk, kind of like going to Vegas with your dad. Dad? 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 People throughout time have made bold statements with clothing. In the 1960s, women started movements protesting for equal rights, burning their bras, agitating both men and women alike just to prove a point. There's a power behind clothing. Or even just before that, in America, during the 1950s and 60s, women simply just started wearing pants because before that, men were like, <laughs> this, what the f Are you a woman that's wearing pants? <laughs> I'm a man, I wear pants. This is confusing my sexuality. Hello? Oh yeah, hey, how are you? I'm just saying, maybe Kylie is trying to tell people that. Well, I, I feel like maybe she's saying, I really don't know. I've been thinking about cultural appropriation a lot and what it means to me personally, and it's so confusing. I'm just gonna start appropriating white people because that's what everybody else does, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna go pay my taxes on time. Well, what do you guys think about cultural appropriation? Is it a real thing? When do you think it's appropriate? Or I mean, when do you think it's too much? Let me know in the comments down below. And hey, click that like button and subscribe to keep the channel alive. Plus you'll get four new videos a week. I'm William Haynes and this is People Be Like.